Hi everyone, my name is Parham Muzaffari. I'm an electrical engineering student at York University. I'm also a Sengage student ambassador. And today I will show you what WebAssign is along with my personal tips on how I use it to stay more productive. So if you don't know already, WebAssign is an online educational platform that includes your assignments, e-textbooks, study tools, and more. To start, you wanna make sure you already signed up and have an account. If you don't have an account yet, there's another video you can watch on how to register for WebAssign. Here's the main dashboard of WebAssign. Today, I'm going to show you some tips about my assignments, the personal study plan, resources, and about this class. On top of the page, you will find a section called My Assignments. These are the assignments that have been assigned to you by your instructor and must be completed before the due date. Make sure they are done on time as these are marked. Let's click on one of the assignments to show you how it works. On top of the page, there's a score count that displays your current mark and what questions are left to answer. While working on any of the questions, if you need help, there are many tools to help you come up with your answer. They are found at the bottom of the question in the need help section. Almost all questions have a read it button. When you click this button, it will take you to the specific section of the chapter that the question is from. Not many students know about the next one, the watch it button. It's one of my favorites. Clicking it, it will bring up a video that show how to solve the same question, but with different values. The final tool I'll show you within the assignments is called practice another. I use it a lot. It is located at the top left of each question if you click on it, it will give you the same question with different values to solve. I use this to make sure I know how to solve the question since there are only few attempts available for each graded question. The next section, in my opinion, is the best part of the web assign. It is called Personal Study Plan. It includes chapter quizzes for each chapter of the textbook along with video tutorials that will show you step by step on how to solve a problem. I use this a lot when I have a test coming up and I want to make sure that I have understood the materials. Next section is called resources, which provides additional variety of resources that are mainly PowerPoints and videos. The most useful one for me are the PowerPoints, which are the summary of the chapters along with some practice questions and their answers. Last section is called about this class, which includes your e-textbook and many tools I'll show you right now. There are two versions of the textbook available to you. One is the actual e-textbook and the other is the Singage version of the textbook. I highly recommend that you use the Singage version since it's the same material but with a lot more tools. The Singage version allows you to take notes, highlight the important content, as well as changing the size of the words along with writing flashcards to make sure you understand the concepts. Also one great feature you get with Sengage version is read speaker, which will read out loud any part of the textbook you want. I hope that this video was helpful to you and that you enjoy using WebAssign. Thank you for watching.